A break in the weather today helped rescuers in Colorado. 21 helicopters fanned out across the state to carry flood victims to safety. It is the largest air evacuation since Hurricane Katrina eight years ago. The floods have killed at least seven people and destroyed or damaged thousands of homes. Manuel Bohorkas spoke with a woman who just barely got out. This is what it looked like outside Catherine Stanford's house. She took this video on Thursday. She already had about three inches of water in her house, and it was rising. We knew at that point, time to pack a backpack and get our cars across our bridge because we saw how high the water was in our creek. And it is completely washed out. Stanford's only bet was to make a dash with her housemates to the home that belonged to her boyfriend's father. They spent two days there before being spotted by an Army helicopter. That moment when you step foot mm -hmm. inside the helicopter, yeah, what was oh, that like? I had tears in my eyes and all I wanted to do was get to my mama. <laughs> Wesley died a hero. Others have not been as lucky. Wesley just grabbed at each of us and looked into their faces and just said, we, we have to get out of this car. No Nathan way. Jennings and Emily Briggs were trying to make their escape with friends Wesley Quinlan and Wiana Nelson last week. A torrent of water surrounded their car. Wesley screamed her name and he dove into the water after her. And he saved her and he grabbed her and he got her up. And then the current was just too much. It was going 50 miles an hour and they all just got swept away. But he did everything that he could. Can you believe that you're alive and able to tell what happened? And it just seemed so unfair that four of us went up there and only two of us get to come back. The full scope of this tragedy is still being revealed as more people arrive at emergency shelters. Scott, just today, school buses brought about 300 evacuees to this Boulder YMCA. Manuel, thanks very much.